the roots from the trees, they're not there anymore. They're starting to be here now. All the roots, they're walking towards it. So now we need to expand the motion as we go along. Forget about sustainability. You want to enrich ecosystems. Every bean is equipped to live a positive energetic balance. Keep it pruned. We are cultivating abundance. Not a problem to cut down trees. The problem is not planting them. All right, guys, we're back here. This is a year down the line from the root system. We're gonna organize, we're gonna manage this. We brought these bananas down a few times. Uh, we should have already been pruning these eucalyptus from, from a little bit earlier, but we've been busy with other, you know, the cow system, the polypharmy system, if you've been following. But now we've got uh, two great friends here helping out with us. Uh, so we, we're coming in and we, we're gonna organize this area so all the sweet potatoes we started organizing you know the tree rows where all the sweet potatoes have invaded everything so we're really bringing those out all right we're gonna make a pile of them because we're gonna re reuse it we're gonna replant that so we're gonna start organizing uh, the potatoes then we're gonna go move in and, and do some some hand picking some weeding on the tree rows there all right so so we'll follow that as, as we go along all right, guys, now we're gonna start doing the simple weeding. You can do it with a machete way. Ideally, you leave the root system in there because if you rip out, uh, let me see if I can find one here. Say, say here, if I rip out, you know, a lot of the, the soil that comes out with the root, that's the richest soil there is. That's really rich, so I'm, I'm removing good soil out when you rip out the weed and all that soil comes out stuck with the wood and the roots. Basically, you're removing all of the, a lot of quality soil. So it's really nice when you go in with the machete with a tip and chick, and you leave the roots in the soil and it's removed the top part of the weed. Uh, most of them don't grow back. Um, let's see if I can get another good example of that. Well, I haven't got it here, but if you follow what I'm saying, and what we're going to do now, we're going to start selecting from our seeds. Uh, we planted a lot of, you know, future timber wood by seed and nuts and things like that. So as you can see here, this is a cocktail of seeds, but I've got a whole bunch of these trees. So we're coming back as we're managing the area, you know, we've cleaned the rougher stuff around the tree lines. And now we're gonna start selecting some of these. I, I see that, I can tell that this, this is probably the chosen one, but uh, I still don't wanna just leave just one. But what we'll do, we'll start with the ones that we know that has lost the fight. We're not gonna leave the one that we know, that we think we know we, we won the fight, because it might not be him still, even though he's the largest one. He could come ahead and someone could break him and then I need a backup plan. Sometimes uh, I remove a smaller one and and it grows back and it shows me that I was wrong and it was gonna be him. Sometimes it's a straighter one. But uh, certainly there's ones here that we, we say, we know, we know it's not him. So out of, out of this whole bunch here, I know it's not him sort of thing, you know what I mean? So yeah, if I had nice scissors right here, but it, yeah, it's cool. Um, so we know it's not him either. So the ones that we know it's not are the ones that we were removing initially. Look, let's have a look at that. This little set here, look that thin one there. I know it's not him. I know it's not him. He's telling us. So we, we select it by the ones that we know it's not. And then now we've got three here to choose from. It probably is this big fella here, but it could be one of these two. Uh, out of these two, which one? Out of these two, which one is more probable? Let's, have, let's try have a better look at that. Uh, well, this one's a little bit, it's in between both of them. It's a bit cluttered, I'm not sure. Still, the one on the edge is growing a bit sideways. I'm gonna remove him. All right, I'm gonna leave these two here still to, to fight it out, even though one of them is winning already. Uh, I don't feel like it's it's uh, having a negative impact. So already we've removed about three or four of them. Just to the side here, we've got more. All right, this is weed. This weed, and uh, 
All right, so here we've got, from the same tree, we've got another three or four. This one here is quite bent. So, you know, I'm really gonna select him to be removed. And now we've got two leftovers. This is, this is not gonna be the one. Because if you look at the bigger picture, there's some nicer ones just, just nearby. So he's not the one. So this is how we're selecting. We're selecting by the ones that are telling us I'm not the one. I'm not, I'm not choosing who is the one. I'm telling the ones that are telling me I'm not the one. You can, you know, I'll remove myself from the race. And then we've got this fella here left over. He's on, look, this, he's on his own. And uh, even though he's, he's under the other two, they're not competing yet for space. The, the best, they'll be giving each other condition and, and stimulation. So we've chosen to leave one, two, three. So, so this is the beginning of the selection. So all of this grass has got to grow. So we're really giving it a nice good clean. All right. And uh, that's the next stage where we, we're thinning out the the trees that were planted by seeds. So here, so every meter we like, we've got a bunch of seeds. And look, look how much, all bunches of seeds for us to thin out. Different types of seeds, different types of wood in each bunch. Uh, different challenges, different questions. Uh, wood that grows in different pace. So sometimes we'll have a, a very smaller one. And uh, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have to decide between that tree or that tree, because this is, this is for a next age. So, um, as long as they're not disturbing themselves, we just like thinning it out when it's like a bunch, when it's like five, six, seven, and then you, you know, you're really thinning it out at this stage, leaving two or three of each species that's fighting out for that spot, okay? So we start thinning it out. These are all the woods that was planted in high density by seed, all right? On, on this tree bed here, we've already done some of that work. And we can go back to it and have, have a nice look what it's looking like here okay so look yeah so we've got varieties of seeds there they're all kind of still different strata there's that one there and then we've got that baby there and then we've got that baby there and we've got that baby there it's just so we've got like you know i'm not having to make a choice who's who's the tree there still you know obviously it's got to be the winner of this bunch but that's got to have a relation in the future with the winner of that bunch and the winner of that bunch. So there's going to be future selections of the winners of the winners are going to be, you know, in the future deciding, uh, you know, it depends on the strata and how they start fitting in. But until they're a problem, everyone's welcome to high density. And this is the way we get real healthy, uh, great trees in the future, planting from, from seed low cost. So now that we've done most of the weeding, all the weeding, and we've selected some of the smaller seedlings that we planted by seed, we want to remove them and select them, that's done. We're going to move up and start managing the rougher material. Uh, we're going to move into the banana trunks and then after the eucalyptus. Uh, the banana trunks, you know, we're going to remove all of these dry stems for real. All right. That's for real. Let's be clear about something. Bananas don't like pruning. And as long as there's green, we're not pruning the green leaves. All right. So yeah, so maybe it's really not looking. It's like it's that leaf that's already saying goodbye, but they're still green. As long as they're still green, it's still doing photosynthesis. It really needs uh, the most amount of green for the most amount of photosynthesis. All right. So I'm not gonna bring that one out. I'm only really bringing down these dry ones to really start organizing the matter. So we start uh, organizing them from the most obvious to the least obvious. So these are obvious. Which one's the next step of obvious? All of the dry leaves, okay? And then we're gonna start removing all of these babies. You all right, guys? So we're here in the area you know, it's a, the food forest system, <clears throat> we're renewing everything. And you know, we're, we're almost coming up to strawberry season. So I've got to make a choice here. I've got these beautiful bananas. They're almost adult. Some of them are laying the fruit. And yeah, uh, I love bringing down the mothers. 
you know, the big babies. I love bringing them down and really feeding them back. Why wouldn't I? Okay, because I'm going to harvest bananas. I've already done it twice. I, I brought down the main banana stem here twice. And theoretically, it's time for me to harvest bananas. But I'm just doing the maths here with my friends. Uh, okay, so each one of these lines is a really small plot here. Uh, we've done it as, as a demonstration for the chorus. And we've got uh, five banana trees on each tree bed here. So let's do the maths together. Each banana trunk, each one of these banana trunks is going to produce for me roughly 20 kilos of bananas. Um, from this variety of bananas, it's not so large, let's say 20 kilos of bananas. Uh, I'll sell it six highs in the market, but you know, people can't pick it up here at 350. So really, I prefer selling it, you know, the easy sale 350, where we're not risking going to the market and leftovers and things like that. So we're talking about five banana trunks, 20 kilos, that's 100 kilos. And then we're talking about 100 kilos at 350. All right, so that's 350 highs. And that's with no work. Basically, I don't need to do no more work and I'll harvest 350 highs. All right. Now, what if I wanted to plant strawberries here? If I wanted to plant strawberries here, it's gonna to have to be work. First, I'm gonna to have to prune these bananas because there's not gonna be enough sun for the strawberries. So I'm gonna prune the bananas, so that's work. I'm gonna to have to prepare the beds, the vegetable beds in, in between, in, in what, what the old vegetable beds, I'm gonna to have to renew them. So I'm gonna to have to prune the eucalyptus, prune the bananas to renew the vegetable beds. Now let's talk about the strawberries. So, all right, so I've got lots more work to do if I'm gonna plant strawberries. But in, in this small plot here, I can harvest three kilos of strawberries every two days for at least three months. Okay, so what does that mean? Uh, for at least 45 harvests of three kilos. Uh, I sell 20 highs the kilo of the organic strawberries. We've done the maths. For each small plot here, that's 2,700 highs. Yes, there's a lot more work, but that's 2,700 highs, not 350. So these are the choices. So why are we bringing down bananas if they're, if they're ready to harvest? We're bringing down bananas to harvest 2,700 highs of strawberries and not any strawberry, the best, the premium strawberries. Obviously I've got naked land. I can go and open new areas and plant new strawberries in, in naked lands. But that's not going to be the premium strawberries I'm going to be harvesting from here inside the forest if I really prune it and feed back. And then I'm talking about planting strawberry in premium soil. We've seen what we've done to the soils here. We've seen what kind of soil we're talking about. We know what we're doing now. This is not acid soil no more from just outside. So imagine what will happen if we plant veg here. Imagine what will happen when we plant strawberries in this, look. And it's full of life in the soil. So, you know, if I let go of these bananas, I'm going to produce the best strawberries in town. I don't even doubt that one bit. I'm sure of that. It's like 10 times the, the money. Eight times, eight times the money, then I'll, I'll get my bananas. And if I'm, if I'm really going to be like tight about my bananas, then that's it. I'm only going to harvest bananas for now and I'm going to wait around the bananas. Uh, if I open it up, I give the stimulation for all the other tree seedlings. I give stimulation for the coffee to boom. I feed the soil. A lot of great things are happening. So I love bananas, but I've got so many bananas that I can harvest bananas elsewhere. In older areas, which I'm just, you know, just moved on from there. So I think that's, that's a done deal. We settle on that. So I've got videos on this, uh, how bananas love strawberries. Or strawberries love bananas. And we're always coming back to the same subject. Strawberries love bananas. All right, so we've decided we're going to plant the strawberries and we're going to clean this area here. Uh, so we're removing all of these sweet potatoes stems or whatever they're called, the, the, the vines. And we're really concentrating them. We find that if we concentrate them, you know, it's less chance it's going to be rooting and, and re, re, re -propagand, propagating. And you see here, we're going to concentrate all this material in the tree beds. All right, as organic matter mulching for the tree bed. It's a lot of material. It is really rich if you break it down. 
We've concentrated then so it doesn't just disappear and it doesn't root so it really decomposes. Now this is the trick I want to talk about now. I'm not going to put it by the trees. Already I have the legacy from the banana trunks the last time I put the banana trunks here. Look at that, it's been about six months and the material's still paying off for me. So it's not that kind of cheap material where you put in and two weeks later it's already disappeared. The banana trunks are beautiful. So now I can afford to, you know, extend this mulching. I can afford to bring it here. Already the roots from the trees, they're not there anymore. They're starting to be here now. All the roots, they're walking towards it. So now we need to expand the mulching as we go along, okay? So the point is, I'm not reinforcing always right by the foot of the tree. We're now bringing it to the next level, closer to the corridor. Ideally, we'll do the whole corridor worth of mulching so we can start stepping on organic material that we've produced on the spot, okay? And if you consider that these trees, this coffee plant, the tip of the roots now is obviously by the tip of the, the leaves, it's here now. So this is the area that we wanna start working with. The next, next, you know, next couple of palms away from where we first initially started giving the original organic matter. So we've got to go ahead and use all this material concentrated by the tree beds. All right. Hope that was helpful. So from the Agrofresh Academy crew, if you haven't liked the channel, do so now. Subscribe. It's the best way to keep us bringing you new content. We're there in the Facebook group discussing it. Bring us your doubt. If you don't believe, if you have any questions or you dig it, whatever, let us know about it in the Agroforestry Academy group in the Facebook. All right. So till next time.